In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step exactly how to use the Bing Keyword Research Tool and what the Bing Keyword Research Tool is good for as far as keywords. So stick around. The web address you see at the bottom of your screen right now will take you to the web page that this video is based upon. And it covers all of these topics in here and goes into much greater detail and depth about how to use the Bing Keyword Research Tool. Now the first requirement to use the Bing Keyword Research Tool is you have to have a webmaster account at Bing.com. And once you have created your account and logged in, you go to the Bing Webmaster Tools webpage and you click on the left hand side where it says Diagnostics and Tools Keyword Research. And this is the Bing Keyword Research Tool here. Quite easy to use. All you do is you put in your seed or starting keyword on this line. You can enter up to 20 keywords. If you enter more than one keyword, you want to make sure each one resides on a separate line. And there are some options here you should be aware of. Generally speaking, you can leave the defaults as they are and you'll be fine. Country, region, all, or select the appropriate country if you're targeting more country or region specific keyword information. And then the language, all is default. Now this thing here, strict, you want to check yes because what happens is if you don't check yes, then keyword ideas that are returned, the search volume for those keywords ideas that appear down here it won't be accurate because for example this keyword here web bots it will give you the cumulative total of searches for other keyword phrases that contain the keyword phrase web bots whereas if you want information just for this keyword phrase and not cumulative volume information so it's going to be inaccurate information as far as search volume if you don't have this checkbox checked right here so you want to check that now this here, date, you can leave that as default. What this is, is it's going to provide you the number of searches each keyword phrase gets per month, averaged over the last three months or last six months. Or if you want to select a custom date range starting and ending, you can go back as far as six months ago. But the last three months is, is usually good for most situations. And then you click the search button and give it a couple of seconds to do its thing. And now it's going to provide you the information. Here are the original keyword phrases you put in the search box. And then underneath that are keyword suggestions. Now, the first thing I want to say about the Bing Keyword Tool is if you're looking for long tail keywords, the Bing Keyword Research Tool is not any good for that. As you can see, most of the keyword phrase suggestions it shows are two, three, maybe four words long. Some good information, though, is this trend. It shows you if the search popularity for the keyword phrase is going up, going down, or staying the same. And the ideal is if it's going up, not going down. Now you may be thinking, well, if the Bing Keyword Research Tool is no good for long tail keyword phrases, then what good is it? Well, what it is good for is increasing your list of starting or root keyword phrases that you would enter into a long tail keyword research program like Infinity Google Keywords or Keyword Researcher. And you can download the information for the keywords by clicking the export button. For a greater in-depth tutorial about all the different features of the Bing Keyword Research Tool and how to use it, visit the link that you see on your screen at the bottom of the screen.